And hello again, folks. It is Zach Comic here to bring you a quick tutorial on how to make your Bluetooth controller uh, reconnect to your EPSX e game while you're in the middle of a game and it magically shuts off. I mean, you can see my controller's on right now. Um, I'm going to turn around and run my ISO. I'm going to tell you right now, I do not support piracy. I do not provide any kind of information of the sort. I physically own a copy of this game as well as a PlayStation 1 through PlayStation 4, so I'm not doing this through illegal piracy. Uh, so I'm going to grab my disc hit open and so whoop, the other side here uh so we've got this i'm going to show you that this is working right now well eventually i'll show you that it's working hit start and so start button So, as you can see, it works. Um, in the same instance, with the working controller, I'm going to turn it off. Wait, where's the light? There we go. There, the light is off. So now, obviously, it's powered down. Then we go and turn it back on, just like if it would had to reconnect. So there it reconnects, and now you're like, oh, I can't use it anymore. Well, this fix is literally as simple as you hit the X button, you hit really quick, you hit OK, because you don't have to worry about your save file, your save state, anything. All you do is go run, continue, and then suddenly, whoop, it's opening it up over here. And there you go. That's all you had to do in order to get it to work again. Literally takes two, two seconds. Exit out, hit uh, yes, leave the window open, hit run, and continue as you see in the video. I hope this helped you. If it did, please remember to do all the fun things normal people would end up saying, even though they're probably not because this is already done for you. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.